yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I did one of these. Um, oh, you mentioned before I'm going to give up on the... Yeah, you know, I've already said this. Um, so, the deadline is Thursday, 3 o'clock. So, I have just decided to pull back on most everything. What I mean is, my final piece will be a lot smaller than originally intended. As in, I'll be keeping the loading animation I made, uh, but only one angle, and I'll be keeping the plasma weapon uh, video uh, animation I made, but from one angle. And there won't be an animation of the character model at all. Uh, as well as that, I will be making some changes to the lines, so there'll still be like a beginning bit where there's like a hacking or whatever portion, but it's only implied. Uh, there'll also be the um, the actual uh, the talking bits from the engineer talking about all this, but that'll be shortened and uh, rewritten. I plan to start recording that tonight, actually. Um, but one of the more major differences is this will not be a four-sided holographic projection anymore. Instead, it's a um, it's just one-sided because the other day on Thursday um, I did actually try building the four-side generator but it I found it incredibly difficult because of specifics it I didn't have much I, I don't have much time as it is and it's difficult to cut out the um, the shapes I need are the acetate so it's all perfect I think I do recall a good while ago that I mentioned using the um, the laser cutter to cut out the shapes that has of course been pushed back uh, because of time um, so I won't be cutting it that way but of course in the end I'm not gonna be doing that so what I'm actually doing is a full screen version which means I only need the sheet of acetates the whole a3 sheet and I just need a frame so originally I was always going to build out wood I might still do but I need a hand from my tutor somehow because they know what they're doing because I was actually going to do it uh, to build it out of a metal frame uh, I would show the picture here but I always link back to my website where you could immediately go to um, the blog page where you could choose which blog you want to go to the one where everything about this project is showing up, which is FMP2, and FMP2J, which is where all these videos are also appearing on, um, these vlog ones. So, uh, so I'll be putting up the photo there of the, the metal frame and the, uh, what's the other one, the, the four shapes of acetate that I cut out with bits of wood glued to them which was also going to be the original material for building the frame out of um overall it's been a bit of a mess trying to get everything to work um I, I think it's very obvious uh since I've talked about it for a good couple of days that uh the, about the reason why I'm only uh, I'm restricting my animation now it's because of how long the renders take uh, as well as that, I couldn't quite finish all the models, especially since I hit a brick wall because Maximo, which is what I've been using, my god, this is not a flattering angle, hang on. That's a lot better. Uh, not Maximo, Mixmo, which is the Adobe website, which I've mentioned before, surprises me, it doesn't ask for money, which is what Adobe is known for, my opinion, just money grabbing um it, it i'm very happy that it was free but it couldn't quite read my model uh, model with the um when i had the plasma weapon attached to it so i had to remove that and have 
the um, the model without the weapon, um, and I had to set it up so it had the you know the wrist came to where the hand was chopped off so it wouldn't start clipping through. Then I would have that file with the um, the character model with the skirt in it, and I was going to load Cinema 4D and track the um, the plasma weapon with where it should be on the arm. Thing is, Cinema 4D is taking so long and cannot read for the life of me the um the file that I got from Mixmo. So again, I I'm just not going to be able to use that model. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, everything's much shorter now. But what's really nice is I can show the video on YouTube, and you won't have to have a four-sided um, holographic projector in your possession. If I put it onto YouTube, you just need to watch the video because the hologram I'm going to be building is just a full-screen one, which frankly makes it easier anyway. I don't have to. Um, Faff about with cutting up the videos I've made so they fit in this very specific cut up screen. You know, I've already shown it on my blog many times examples, but what the video for four sided holographic projector would be is it would be half, but like an X, not a plus, just an, an X. So. I would have to cut up all, each video so it's you know, could fit in there and rotate them. It's it's a major faff. It really is much like building the four side pyramid. It's all these different angles to build. Um, doesn't matter if I even measure. It's it's using an angle instead of just squares. So it, it was going to be difficult from the get go. So hmm. Uh, what else is there? There is, of course, I, I'm working on A3 sheets, stuff like that, to print off of all the models and what the designs were. Um, I'm currently looking up a way to um, to render the models that I've um, that I've made into a, a wireframe because it would look interesting that way. I know I've managed to do it before because I I dug up some old. Um, some old A3 sheets that I made for uh, my last FMP, and I managed to do it there, but I I can't recall how I managed to do it, so I've got to look it up again. Uh, I'm really hoping that it's not um, that's not uh, a screenshot deal. That that would be very irritating. So. What else is there? Um. I don't think there's anything else. So, um, I should probably. I'm gonna be typing it, uh, typing it up anyway. But I'd assume they want it typed up anyway. Um, I need an evaluation of this whole project. I think that I was definitely, to some degree, on schedule, but. Uh, I'd say I did get distracted, I'll admit that much, um, but there was also technical issues like Mixamo, um, there was a lot of 3D modelling of course, and I was dabbling with holographic projections which are not my forte and quite difficult, and because I'm already going to predict that it's not going to come out amazingly but it's going to come out in my opinion quality wise a lot better than my last FMP um, I will say that whenever I do a new project um, at college I always try to do something new and ambitious and develop on one skill or start a new skill this time I was see what happens if I try doing holographic projection and See if I can get 3D modeling better. Now, although I got a bit better with 3D modeling, and of course things didn't go amazingly with um, the holographic projection, I still think that 
my best form of making any art or designs is still hand drawn. I don't think I'm very good at 3D modeling. Maybe I can do something that looks pretty good and I'll have fun with it, but I don't think I'll do anything amazing with it. Um, same thing with animation, frankly. And uh, then this digital drawing, which I've tried before, and even just in my spare time, and frankly, I don't think it went as well as um, drawing on pencil or paper. So, overall, I'm a lot better at just drawing on pencil or paper and drawing that way. In fact, animating that way, even with a chalkboard. So long as it's drawing utensil to surface rather than plastic pen to uh, a bit of extra plastic which apparently detects where I'm drawing and puts it onto a digital screen or do anything 3D, anything at all. I'm much better at drawing by hand and not digitally. That's all I get. That's the very most I'm very, very sure about. So, I'm very happy that I, of course, took this course, Interactive Media. I've been able to try out all kinds of new techniques and skills and have a go at so much. But I do believe that I am much better at uh, hand drawing. No matter what, hand drawing has always been something that's stuck with me. And it has prevailed through every project I have, much like how I doodled in the margin of my books for years at high school. It's just hand drawing is something I've always been the best at. It's always something I've done or, uh, in my spare time and it's always been something that has um, not improvised in influence it's always something that's influenced all designs of the rest of my projects whether I'm drawing what the model I'm going to make um, of will be so 3d or plaster slash clay um, metal work, wood, the, the drawing aspect has always come from paper first and it's always looked so much better on paper. You know, it has just hit me. A huge majority of the stuff that I've done for all my projects I've been doing on pads, uh, pads, on A3 sheets of paper and whatnot. But A3 to A2, first year was my A2, but I haven't actually put any of it onto my blog. So, I think I'll do that. It shouldn't take me long to finish off everything. So I think what I'm going to do is, on Tuesday or Wednesday, which are days before my project is finished, I will both present all stuff to my tutors and see what they can tell me to improve it and in my spare time I'm going to bring all my sheets in and I'm just going to scan it all and I'm gonna, I've got to put them up somewhere uh, because I'm, I'm just talking like everybody knows it, it's the equivalent of Petscope um, they, they think we're on the same page nah, nah. <clears throat> so this has been a good project. The outcome has been a bit better than what I've tried before on my last FMP, but the point still stands. Hand drawing has it has been a lot better. I've still got to finish stuff before this could really count as a final evaluation in my opinion because this came before the end. But yeah. I'll make another one of these sometime next week I'd think alright